This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one website building platform. Hello friends, I have honestly spent much of the summer collecting up little thrifted gems that are actually unwearable in the summer, but I've been stowing them away anyway for fall. And now, it's finally time to show you all of them. This is everything I have brought into my wardrobe since my last collective thrift haul a few months ago. A lot of it is actually from the Goodwill bins, so many of these absolute gems were literally like less than a dollar. As always, I am saving my best find for last. And this one is a real gem. This is the best in a while. I can't wait to show you that. And I actually simply can't wait any longer to show you any of them. Let's get into it. Okay, first up, we're gonna go through some tops. And the first one, those of you who watched my trying to style outfits inspired by my own art video have already seen, it is this long sleeve swirly paisley top. This was one of my Goodwill bins finds, so it was literally like less than a dollar. And I realized after I bought it, I think it's actually a pajama top, but I love it as just like the perfect slouchy, comfy, yet effortlessly funky and cool long sleeve t-shirt. I also love the silky texture on the buttons and the little pocket trim. Again, I do think that element indicates that this is probably a pajama shirt, but I also just love that as a detail on a shirt to wear. I feel like it makes it look just a little more interesting and detailed and kind of luxurious. I feel like I should be wearing this to like lounge around in a room with velvet curtains. Oh my God, literally the room I'm picturing is in Arthur, not Sue Ellen. Prunella's room in Arthur, that is a deep cut. I don't know if anyone is gonna know what I'm talking about. I'll see if I can find a picture, but this stuck with me as a child. I was like, that is the dream bedroom. And this shirt gives me that energy. So we love that. Okay, next up is another top from the Goodwill bins. And the last one was like a little witchy. This one, even more witchy, almost sort of gothic vibes. It is this black velvet tie front top with little lace trim on it. I mean, yeah, this is just like the perfect witchy fall top. I love velvet. And I also think because this is a tie front top, it's gonna be so cute for layering, like layered over a long dress or over just any top with some pants, I think will be really cute. Or worn as a top on its own with pants, a long skirt, a short skirt, I don't know. There's just so many options for this type of piece. It's making me very inspired for fall fashion. I have so many ideas of how to style it. Okay, this next shirt is the one clothing item I bought that was not thrifted. It is in fact, a tourist t-shirt. Hell yeah, baby. I love a tourist tee. This is a bit of a Wisconsin deep cut, but if you're from Wisconsin, you may have heard of House on the Rock. If you haven't, it's just sort of like this wacky house that's kind of like a museum, but kind of like a carnival vibe simultaneously. I don't have time to explain, but I went there for the first time this summer. It was a blast and I simply love a tourist t-shirt from any fun, memorable little excursion. Any comfy graphic tee I know I will get so much wear out of. If you're noticing this is wrinkly, it's because I literally wore it yesterday. Ooh, okay, I also have only one piece of jewelry I bought this summer, but this is actually also not thrifted. Um, it's from the same day trip, and it is this little colorful, like, ceramic cube bead bracelet. I just can't resist a gift shop. I cannot. I freaking love a gift shop. I always have. And yeah, my boyfriend and I went to House on the Rock and then we went to American Players Theater, which is an outdoor professional theater in the woods where we saw a production of Our Town. And it was so special and moving and we cried a lot. It's a great play. So it's just a fun, special little day. And I bought this bracelet in the theater gift shop and I've already worn it so much. Like I don't normally wear bracelets a lot, but this has really become my go-to accessory. All right, now it is time to get into the most essential fall clothing item, Autumnal Fashion's It Girl jackets. I love a good jacket. And first up, we have such a special little gem, also from the Goodwill bins. This amazing, adorable flower patch jacket. Are these patches appliques? I don't know, but I love them. I love this. It's just so cute and fun. And I feel like this is the sort of thing that I would always see in the thrift store and be like, oh my gosh, that's so cute and fun, but I don't know if I would really wear it. It's like a little out there. So, you know, typically I would leave it behind, but because it was the Goodwill bins, I was like, might as well give it a shot. Now's the time to try out a funky little jacket. And I love it so much. I'm so happy I have it. I think despite it being kind of bold and funky, the colors are great and actually quite versatile. I think it goes with a lot of my wardrobe already. It just feels so perfect for like a cozy, crafty little fall vibe. It's, just, it's giving me every cozy little fall vibe you could ever dream of. And I'm just so excited to wear it once it's finally cool enough 
in Maryland. Oh, by the way, I'm finally back in my apartment in Maryland. That's why we're in a different setting today. If you're a more recent subscriber, you may not know that this is where I actually live. Um, and my videos for the past couple of months were at my parents' house, which I was visiting for the summer. Anyway, it's literally gonna be 90 here all week, but eventually this jacket will get the love it deserves. Okay, our next jacket is actually my most recent thrift purchase. I've been back in Maryland for like three days and I have already gone to the thrift store and acquired this adorable little cobalt blue jacket and this art poster behind me. This thing is giant and it's a um, like Rothko poster and it was $10. Anyway, I have been finding myself very drawn to this color lately. I mean, blue is my favorite color. It's always my favorite. I wear a lot of it, but I think this particular shade of blue has honestly been influenced by my friend Kathleen of Kathleen Illustrated. I feel like this color is so central to her style and it has just made me fall in love with it even more. And also even more importantly, I just love like the fit and the style of this jacket. It's like nice and roomy and boxy, which I just like the look of in general and is also much more convenient for layering things under. But then it also has a bit of a cropped shape that makes it look not like it's just way too big for me. The only thing I don't love are these buttons. I mean, I'll still wear it with the buttons. I don't hate them, but I feel like it could look better with some other type of button, but I don't really know what that would be. So I would love to hear your suggestions in the comments. Like what do you envision that would really level up this jacket as far as what buttons to use? Before our next jacket, I have to tell you about Squarespace, which is an excellent web design platform and also the sponsor of this video. I have honestly been in need of some updates, some improvements in my own website presence as an artist and graphic designer. My old online portfolio, which was not made on Squarespace, needs some help, uh, but I have been working on redoing it through Squarespace and Oh my gosh, it is like night and day. How easy it is, how good it looks. Their templates are just so good, so stylish, so easy to customize. They specifically use Fluid Engine, which is just like so intuitive and straightforward. You can just drag and drop anything anywhere on your page. Squarespace is simply the ultimate website building platform to put yourself out there. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash beepworld, or just use the link in the description for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, our final item in the jacket category is actually a shirt, but I'm putting it here because I'm using it as a jacket and it is this oversized chambray button up. This is another item that normally I'd see at the thrift store and like like kind of like, but ultimately decide I don't need. I'd be like, oh, I don't know if I would wear this. With the flower jacket, it's cause it was like a little out there. With this one, I might think it's like a little too boring and basic. Um, but again, I found it at the bins. Since grabbing it, I've actually really been liking it as like sort of a lightweight summer jacket or top layer. I've worn it a lot already. And I mean, it's undeniably versatile. It's a great fall layering piece too. And as much as I love like funky bold style and pieces, I also tend to like to fill out my wardrobe and my outfits with more like simple basics that can go with all the funky pieces. This will definitely get wear this fall. All right, so this is a fall haul, but it does include everything I got throughout the summer. So there are also a couple tank tops in here. So some of these are actually kind of autumnal too. Like for example, this beautiful warm clay colored bodysuit. I love this color. I don't often wear it because I don't think it suits me super well, but I don't know, it's working for me in this bodysuit. I also love a deep V. I just like how it looks on me. And I also love that it came with this little bow sash waist tie thing, which I think looks super cute tied as a bow at the waist or like in the back, but you could also use it in your hair on a bag as a belt with a different pair of pants. We love a versatile strip of fabric on this channel. This is also ideal to me for like day to night because you know, it's a plunging neckline, definitely works for nightlife, but it almost looks like a bathing suit. You know, it looks kind of beachy. I wouldn't feel ridiculous wearing it in the daytime, which is how I tend to feel in more like sparkly party attire. So this is also very versatile in that way. And yeah, this is just like the perfect fall color. So I'm kind of excited to try styling this in the fall as well. The number of sirens that have passed while I've been filming this is insane. There've been like four. All right, next we just have this plain white tank top. Honestly, I really just needed more like comfortable, breathable, simple cotton tank tops. I was just wearing like the same three or four over and over again, which isn't sustainable for a whole summer of being sweaty. But I especially love this one because it has this like little puckered texture on it that just makes it so much more interesting. Yet still completely comfortable. I have never seen this sort of like texture technique on fabric before. I don't know if it has a name, but I'm really into it. This is a little oversized on me, so I have plans to crop it. I already cut it off, but I didn't hem it yet. So the like 
hemline looks a little awkward right now, but I will hem it soon. Next up, we have this little striped tank top. This reminds me of my favorite tank top as a kid. This tank top right here was literally like my favorite shirt as a kid. I remember it so distinctly and I have honestly been chasing that high ever since. So I love that this has that like sporty kind of retro 90s-ish feel to it. However, what I don't love is the colors. The shirt I'm wearing right now actually is much more similar. <laughs> color scheme to my childhood favorite shirt. I am just not a pastels person, especially paired with black. I don't know, I bought this and I was hoping this color palette would grow on me, but it simply hasn't. But I just think if all the pink stripes were red, instead i would love it i think it would be perfect i can't explain why that tiniest little change would make such a big difference to me but i really think it would and i am considering just trying to like get a red fabric marker and just coloring in all the pink stripes is that crazy like is that kind of unhinged or completely reasonable and actually kind of genius i don't know i don't see why it wouldn't work like i think it would work i guess we'll see okay finally i do actually just have three more plain tank tops um but they're all so boring and i mostly just wore them for rock climbing and other active things they're not really for fashion two of them are hand-me-downs from my sister, this one is just thrifted. So yeah, just everyday basics, not really for style, but I did acquire them. So here they are. Okay, shoes. I only bought one pair of shoes this summer and they are undeniably not a summer appropriate pair of shoes. It is this absolutely gorgeous pair of warm orangey reddish brown leather knee high boots. I mean, can you believe? Look at her, look at these, they're just, this pair of shoes is a star. And can you guess where I got these? That's right, Goodwill Bins, baby. Um, yeah, these are amazing. They're gorgeous, I love them. The friend I was with at the Bins actually found these first and then ultimately ended up deciding not to get them. Shout out to that friend because then I got to snatch these up. I just love everything about these. The color, the little lacing, the pointed toe, the knee length, the unique heel shape. They're like granny boot meets which boot meets almost equestrian boot. They're just the coolest, I love them. Their only flaw, well, I, they have a few flaws actually. They're, they're not in the, like, the most perfect prime never worn condition. Um, but the only thing that is a flaw to me is that the heel caps are gone. Hopefully I can get them replaced for a reasonable price somewhere. That's something I hear people say you can do, but I've never done it and I don't really know how. I guess I'll just Google it, but also if you have any insider tips, if you're like, oh, I'm a regular, I get my heel caps replaced all the time. First of all, I both admire and fear you. And secondly, please um, leave your tips in the comments. Anyway, yeah, these are just absolutely gorgeous. The coolest, I cannot wait to wear them for fall. Oh my God, I have so many outfit ideas. All right, finally, we are on to dresses. Perhaps the other best thrift haul category besides jackets. And first up, we have this classic little blue striped fit and flare dress. I love this dress and I'm not even sure exactly why I love it. I feel like you could read it as definitely more preppy and almost like business casual than my usual style, but I do just love a classic fit and flare cut. I really like how that silhouette looks on me. And this waist actually isn't entirely fitted and I'm not sure if that's part of the design or if it's just like slightly too big on me, but I really like that it adds like a slight looseness to it. It just makes it ever so slightly more relaxed and kind of playful, less polished, which I really like that aligns a lot more with my style. I also love a boat neck. So the neckline is just fabulous. And I'm also really into this blue striped pattern, which again, could maybe read as more preppy and traditional. And I do generally have an aversion to navy blue because it reminds me of my childhood school uniforms, but I love it here in this vertical stripe. I like that it's navy blue combined with a slightly lighter shade of blue. I feel like that I don't know, makes it not read as navy blue to me. I also think the fact that this is cotton makes it feel much more relaxed and effortless to me. And I also feel like you could totally style this in like a really fun Vivian Westwood inspired outfit. Like it gives me that preppy meets punk meets whimsical carnival harlequin mad hatter vibe do you see the vision you see the vision you're smart and creative you get it I'm just feeling very inspired by this piece in many different directions finally our last item and i would say the best item although it was a close race is also a dress or kind of two dresses it is this two-piece 
lacy nightgown set. I mean, this is just so fabulous. Look at this. We have this sleeveless layer underneath. This is its own full nightgown with the lace bodice. And then on top, we have sort of this robe layer with these long cinched balloon sleeves. We've got a deep V. Again, the lace bodice, it's cinched at the waist. And then long flowy robe all the way to the floor. It's just amazing. It's gorgeous. Both of them are so beautiful. Obviously, I understand that this is meant as like a nightgown or lingerie but for me it's fashion and the possibilities are endless I love both pieces together I love them on their own and both of these also have so many other good layering and styling opportunities with the rest of my wardrobe it's just so good and I already wore it for that little day trip I mentioned earlier where we went to the theater in the woods because what could possibly be a more fitting outfit for theater in the woods also we went to a drive-in there for dinner and um this teenager, high schooler working there, asked if we just came from prom, which was very funny and cute. And I was like, slay, someone should wear this to prom. Um, but I am 26 years old. Anyway, I truly just feel like an ethereal, magical queen in this. And I looked up the brand just because I was like, what is this? It, how old is it? What's the deal? And it turns out both of these pieces are actually currently available for purchase online from this brand. And if you were to get both of them, it would cost you upwards of $100. So the fact that I got this set at Goodwill for $7, huge W, huge slay. Cannot wait to keep styling these. All right, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Please answer my questions in the comments. I feel like I had a lot of questions in this one, like things I genuinely need help on. <laughs> so I would love to hear your answers. Oh, and I heard if you leave a comment, watch another video like this one right here and subscribe to my humble channel. You will find your dream nightgown to wear as a dress at the thrift store for $7.